The H5N1 avian influenza virus, or bird flu, has reached alarming levels globally, and Canada is on high alert. The virus, known for infecting hundreds of bird species and dozens of mammals, can travel with waterfowl like ducks, geese, and gulls, many of which stop to nest and rest across Canada. In the early days of spring, Ontario had a few bird flu outbreaks, but the situation seems to have eased. I call this our peace time. So there could be a wartime or may not. Dr. Sharif notes there are weather factors that come into play. If you have a temperature of, let's say, you know, minus 20 or, or below, uh, viruses can survive quite readily in those really low temperatures. So excessive heat would kill it. Water is the perfect host for the virus with temperatures between zero and 20 degrees. In areas where spring arrives early, infected birds may also arrive sooner and linger longer increasing the chance of local outbreaks. In British Columbia, it was the previous fall migration that brought devastating outcomes, with poultry farms decimated in the Fraser Valley. And that's because the conditions are ideal for waterfowl to stop on their journey south. So we have a high population of birds who are stressed by migration. They were previously naive to this virus and they're all coming together into the Fraser Valley. It's like a great stopping spot for wild birds. So they come, they mix together, they hang around for quite a while feeding on our um, flooded farmlands. And it doesn't take long for this microscopic virus to make its way from a Canada goose into a poultry farm. It's also managed to infect both land and marine mammals. Sharif cites the elephant seal population in South America. In Peru, they lost almost 96, 97 percent of their pups in one of the breeding seasons. But is Canada ready if bird flu makes its way into the human population? I hope we are, but I think you know the main issue here is that we need to have vaccination as 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 one of the tools in our toolbox. Right now in Canada, the H5N1 vaccine is being stockpiled in case of a human outbreak. With spring migration now underway, public health and wildlife agencies across Canada are watching closely and hoping that peacetime will continue.